We wish to speak to you today of nobility and courage. We of the Lyran Council are known for our lion-hearted qualities of love, compassion, courage, all of which reside in and are expressed through the heart. In love you enact miracles. You call forth the power that is inherent within you and within all things. There is no greater access to power than through love. You may think that fear is the way to access power, for this is what you see all around you. Those who are fearful, who create fear in others, those who bend others to their will using fear, and those who in fear readily give up their power in order to gain protection and apparent safety from that which they fear. You may think that giving over your powers to others or others to you is tantamount to amassing power. But those who amass obedience through fear do not actually amass power. And those who give away their power never gain real safety or peace. True power strengthens and centers. True power is expansive. True power is the power to heal, to reconcile, to bestow mercy. True power uplifts. It raises those who are afraid, who have forgotten who they are. It restores the memory of those who believe themselves to be powerless, brings hope and faith. True power is gentle in its fierce insistence, its steady, unwavering perception of the goodness, of the light, of the true divine essence that is at the core of every human being. To be courageous, to be lion-hearted, is to recognize that which you truly are, and to recognize in others, beyond how they may appear or present themselves or believe themselves to be, that they also are much more. You use the phrase namaste, the God in me recognizes and acknowledges the God in you. The love that I am honors the love you are. This is what courageous means to perceive, to insist upon, and to treat all that you see from the reality of love. Courage is the ability to believe you are and other people are more than the sum of their judgments. We are calling upon you to recognize that reality may not be as it appears. Neither you nor those around you are circumscribed by the identities they are known by, or the identities they define themselves by. You are right to intuit that polarization in your world has led people to defend their identities, and this is at the core of the violence that you are witnessing and experiencing. Being right or being wrong is a state of fear. It is tied fundamentally to identity, who you think you are, and holding other people to who you think they are in a life-or-death battle, to be right, to be the good one. It takes courage to see beyond appearances. It takes courage to believe that what you are is only a small percentage of what you are actually capable of, and what you are capable of is beyond your imagination. You get clues to your real power when you look to that which makes your heart swell and sing. And so we say to you on this day, practice courage. Here is an exercise to see courage. See if you can view your own foibles and shortcomings with affection, patience, with tender regard for the human being who you were and who you are now, that is in a constant state of evolution and growth. Start with tender regard seeing your shortcomings or limitations as temporary, a stage in your learning process, as something you can view with compassion and even affection. As the song goes, try a little tenderness and extend it towards the child that is having a tantrum, the child who is experiencing a growth spurt, the baby who is having teething pains, who does not know what is happening and only feels pain and confusion and frustration. Extend to that child tenderness that is not 
based upon their behaving well. Extend tenderness to them, not despite what they show you and their difficulties, but because of these. Show tenderness to those who show you their pain. Love them for all that they are. For when you do so, you allow them to release identifying with their pain, and you allow them to grow. When they grow, so do you, in strength and in love. Courage, true courage and true power, begins with tenderness toward all living things. I'm Suzanne Legrand, and you've been listening to The Shaman's Notebook. For more insights and adventures into healing, subscribe below and visit me at SuzanneLegrand.com.